Lagos State Government and the Nigerian Port Authority on Thursday expressed their support to the ongoing demolition of illegal structures around NMPC's pipelines. The operation, which affects Takwa Bay, has been condemned by the Amnesty International, which accused the Nigerian military of excessive force. Not less than 300 points which were discovered along the NMPC's pipelines used to illegally siphon petrol were dismantled by the members of the operation during the exercise. Muritala Adekunle Balogun, the Director of Technical Services Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development, Lagos State, said that the state government would not fold its arms while the country was being sabotaged by saboteurs. And joining us live in the studio is also Barrister Dotun Hassan uh, to still shed more light uh, on this matter. Now, give yeah. us <coughs> what are the uh, legal perspective? What is the best way to handle this matter? Because you can hear Amnesty International saying that you know this is there's uh, excessive force. There. You, know, you know, majorly what ought to be done uh, ab initio is that the government ought to have passed adequate notices in terms of the first notice and second uh, final notice mm -hmm. and after which they have to sort for court order for demolition or evacuation of the people meaning there ought to be a due diligence legal approach to mm -hmm. dealing with the issue not the just a poster in a manner as if it's a war invasion that has just been carried out so therefore the the semblance of sanity that the people ought to respect the government for has been has been uh, is, is lost already so where we are now is a very disastrous situation because there's no uh there's no succor at sight the people's life has been tampered with mm -hmm. and they can never be the same again they can the children especially even in the time of war there is always a very extreme care that we have extreme care for children and women but in this in this situation, the allegation is weighty, but there is no evidence. Mm. There is no culpability. There is no prosecution. It's as if the government seems to be helpless, mm -hmm. now shouting to the high heavens that it's only evacuation of over 20,000 people that have been living in that community for over 100 years. Mm -hmm. These are villagers, just like every other community in Niger Delta. These are people who have been housing themselves in that corridor, from that corridor of Takwa Bay to Badagri, that is, that, that is the route mm. that that place uh, 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 entails. So what we're looking at now is that government at this point in time, no matter the, the toga that has been targeted that, okay, it's Operation Kurumbe, mm. according to the Awase uh, uh, commander, that is another officer that went there, there is, I, we can't even place, is it the military or the Lagos state government? There seems to be connivance here. No one is taking full responsibility of all this. It's as if the military was used. And this is a kind of a decoy. I've had experience during my course of fighting against injustice of this nature, during the Olokola, during the Otodogbame, mm -hmm. we have this kind of measure, even in Morocco eviction. These are the kind of juxtaposed that the government used in taking over lands. At the end of the day, not in totality that everybody in that place was evacuated. There are specific areas that was uh, allotted for their cronies or mm. interest. So meaning that a law that is good for the good is good for the Ganda. Mm. If the law is to protect lives and property, those that were given release, the only thing the government needs to do is to approach them that, oh, come for allocation, come for the regularization of your stay on this place. Mm -hmm. This area is exclusive reserve for government pipeline. This area is for domestic and uh, for the abode. So there is no Just, rule of engagement mm -hmm. here. That is why I pray, since the matter is before the court, the, uh, the, it's just medicine after death. Because where are we at the moment? The only thing we pray for is that the, 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 the sanctity of the Constitution, the mm. fundamental right of the people, must be respected. And the, the foremost uh, uh, duty of government is adequate welfare and security of life and property, mm. which at this point, on the, on the Takwa Bay, I will score the government zero. To this end, they need to do the needful in at least creating a human face for government. Mm -hmm. So, and I pray for, for this approach, the Navy, the Lagos State Government 
needs to take responsibility for this error. I must say thank you for sharing your thoughts there.